Hey guys, DX Porker here with you. I want to take another look at my Father's Day present. I did a video while I was in Tennessee with my cell phone. I don't think it did the knife any justice, so just want to give you a uh, better look at it and compare it to some of the other SA knives that I have. But uh, what I got was the Azula 2. Of course, it's made by SA. Randall's Adventures. It is a super, super knife. It's got a great feel to it. You know, the overall length is six and three quarters inches. It's got the micarta handles on it. The uh, blade length is three and three quarters inches from the tip of the uh, end of the handle to the tip of the blade. Cutting edge is two and five eighths inches. Weighs about 3.2 ounces, and that's uh, just the knife only. That's not with the the sheath. But uh, I really, really like this knife. I was going to get a Leatherman Wave, and once I got the Wave in my hand, I just really wasn't happy with it. Then I got to the SA display, and you know, eventually I'm going to have them all. But you know, I, I seen this one and and uh, really fell in love with it make a good good carry knife uh, comes with a kit the, the only thing I don't like about the knife itself well not the knife but with where I purchased it at I got it down at Smoky Mountain Knife Works and I got some deals on some stuff and then come find out I didn't get some deals on some others you know when they when they purchased this for me they sold the knife by itself or you could buy it with a kit well the knife by itself was 71 and the kit was 21 so I got them both and it come up to a hundred dollars and some change which you know at the time not researching it a whole lot I didn't think was was too ridiculous and but later on I found out that uh, if you get on to where I've bought quite a few knives knifeworks.com I didn't get such a good deal on it and you know that was a little disappointing but you know in the heat of the moment when you see something you want you you take that extra step to get it but if you get them from knifeworks.com you can get the knife itself for $59.99 and you can get the kit for $69.99 so seventy bucks plus six or seven dollar shipping you're gonna get a fabulous product um, had I got that on knifeworks I could have got that and another knife but you know being in Tennessee and in knife heaven I just went ahead and, and of course I didn't know so I went ahead and rolled with it but you, in the comparison there to the SA4, it's quite a bit shorter. And of course with the Hunglus, it doesn't, doesn't even compare to it in any way whatsoever. Like I said, there's several knives in this series and eventually I'm going to have them all. Just have to one at a time it because they are a little pricey. But uh, they're well worth it. Something I noticed there a while ago, I got these two out, the Hunglus and the 4. And was going to shoot them in this video and after uh, I made a couple videos about three weeks ago maybe four on some batoning and some feathering and chopping with the four and the hunglus I didn't clean them afterwards so that 1095 is starting to rust a little bit nothing major nothing I can't uh, knock right off there I don't know how well the camera will let you see it but few places there it is starting to get a little bit of surface rust not near as much on the uh, the four but there is just a little bit we can knock that off there no problems but you know that's going to happen when you, you use your knives and I did a lot of batoning and chopping and you can see there is very little wear at all on the coating it is scratched of course but uh, you know it, it didn't take it down to the to the blade steel so thoroughly impressed with the SA products I highly recommend the knife to uh, anybody without any second thoughts but with my Zula 2 the kit he got a ambidestrous sheath got some split rings and some gear hooks and then of course this pocket clip you you can take it off and put it on either side comes with the mountain hardware and all that it snaps right in there it's got a uh, super click to it you know if you want to make a neck knife out of it or hang it from your gear bag I mean it's, it's in there it is not coming out you can hear it snap into place 
but I absolutely love it. Come with a whistle. Pretty loud little whistle. Come with uh, some paracord, you know, to use and the keeper. I'm not sure what they call that thing, but I have no plans of using that. And then, of course, uh, comes with a fire steel. Come with the two uh, rings, so you can use it in whatever configuration you want. Then, of course, the Randall's Adventure Survival Card. Got three of those now, but you know, it's a great great knife i love it i just hate i paid that well they paid that much for it but like i said good quality knives going to cost you a little bit made some good deals down there got some bad deals but i think uh, now that i got to compare some prices what i spent for all the contest prizes if i'd have got them from somewhere else i could have probably got twice as many prizes as i got but hopefully you guys will uh Get some more vids in for the contest. I think I'm up to like 15 now. I'm not quite sure. I haven't counted in a day or two. But I just wanted to give you a better look at this knife because I just didn't feel the uh, the cell phone did it justice. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's razor sharp edge. I haven't cut anything but paper with it. But uh, it is absolute beauty. And I will carry this knife on my side every day. Uh, right along with my EDC equipment. So... Just want to give you a better look at it. There you have it. SC Azula 2. Catch you guys later. It is what it is. The V, the V, and that's all, folks.